So hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be giving my own thoughts on Grand Theft Auto V Expanded and Enhanced and why I personally think it's looking like a complete disappointment from the very get go. First off, even the very beginning of the Rockstar Newswire post near enough confirms what everybody was expecting this to be. Basically, PC settings at maximum, with Rockstar themselves even using the word high-end PC visuals. It's not really a good first impression here. But even then, when they go over the enhanced graphics, improved textures, 40k, 60 frames per second, PC already had that from launch all the way back in 2015. They do say Grand Theft Auto V will now have HDR and ray tracing, something PC doesn't have yet, at least about mods, but still people pointed out that one of the promo screenshots clearly doesn't have any ray tracing enabled. And yes, I know ray tracing isn't just limited to reflections, but still it does look kind of poor when you gloat about having ray tracing, but you don't even have ray tracing reflections in a promo screenshot. The rest of the stuff was just, you know, faster loading and audio enhancements. Now Rockstar don't actually mention anything that's been expanded. They go over the PC level enhancements for audio and visual, but where's the expansion at here? Going off this, it really sounds like the only expansion is Strauss Zelnick's wallet, because there's no mention of anything that's even worthy of being called an expansion. There's no new missions, there's no map expansions, and just showing more pedestrians and trash and plants around the map is not an expansion. I'm hoping Rocks are keeping some things a surprise, like maybe adding in some new secret areas around the map, or some new missions, or even expanding upon the Mount Chiliad mystery, but even then, I don't think it's worthy of being called expanded for small additions like that, you know. I'm also extremely doubtful they're adding anything like that anyway. There's also no mention of PC either, which is weird because PC players make up a major chunk of GTA players, as it has over 150,000 players on Steam alone. That's not including Social Club or the Epic Games versions, where it was free to buy a while back. So the number is more likely in the maybe 300 to 500,000 player range. I'm hoping Rockstar themselves also know this and maybe didn't bother with PC because most of the supposed enhancements are already there for PC players, and the missing stuff could just be done with an update or something, but yeah, if they're not bothering with PC, they are shooting themselves in the foot, alienating a major portion of their player base for whatever reason. Even for Grand Theft Auto Online, they don't mention anything massive, just changes to the tutorial and a Red Dead Online style joining menu for quick play, and a career build feature, where you can just reset your character and you restart with $4 million to buy businesses with, and that just sounds like a free version of the Criminal Enterprise Pack. Honestly, aside from many PS5 players who get GTA Online, not single player, but GTA Online, free for three months. Yes, you keep it forever, I mean it's like free to buy for three months, but yeah. I think this sounds completely underwhelming and a waste of time and resources. How did it take nearly two years to make this is another question I have. PC modders are doing stuff like this within months of its release, for free. Another thing I do find insulting as well is there's a Lithuanian gaming site which claims the re-re-release will cost 40 euros. There is no way it's GTA 5 worth 40 fucking euros nearly a decade later. This also means it'll most likely be about 40 quid and 40 dollars because for some fucking reason most other companies just slap the same number on US, UK and EU stores. There's no free upgrade either, considering most of the studios give away current gen versions for free for digital owners or have a free upgrade for disc owners. This entire thing just reeks of greed. I really do not see any reason to buy it, well no, I actually do think of one reason to buy this. And that's if you've won the very few people who've never played GTA 5 ever. If you've never played it before, maybe this does seem like a good time to buy. But for everybody else, which is like 99% of people, there is no reason to buy this. There's just nothing to really grab your attention and make it worth your money. If you've already beaten story mode, then congratulations, I guess. It's the exact same game with no improvements whatsoever. I'd rather have a GTA 4 re- actually no I wouldn't, seeing how badly the GTA trilogy turned out and how underwhelming this looks, and the uh, bugginess of Buddy Scholarship Edition, I think maybe Rockstar should just stay far, far, far away from remasters forever, and just stick to making new stuff, which, let's face it, we all want. I'm pretty sure everybody watching this would probably want a GTA 6, Buddy 2, Red Dead Online update, or anything really. And I apologise if you can hear that dog barking outside. But yeah, that's it for today's video, thank you for watching, and have a great day.